How's it going YouTube? Sodak Sneakers here and today I will be blacklighting my two patent bred Air Jordan 1s that I got from GOAT. Um, I've done two videos on these now. Uh, a lot of people still asking questions about it which is okay. There's a lot of fakes of these out there. Um, a lot of good fakes too. So um, I'm just trying to give you guys as much information as I can to help you guys decide if you got real ones, fake ones, how to legit check, all that stuff. With that being said, I'm not a professional legit checker. Some things could get by me, but like I said, I'm just trying to give you the most information that I can. Um, I've done a review and I've done a comparison between the two on my other two videos. So if you guys want to see that, go ahead, head over, um, check those two videos out. But today, um, I bought a black light, um, had it for a while. Um, so I'm going to be black lighting the boxes, the, uh, shoes, and just seeing if anything like that sticks out or anything like that. So with that being said, this is black light I bought. It is $8 from Amazon. So, um, if you guys want to get that, uh, just go to Amazon, type in black light, super cheap. And I think they're definitely worth it. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start here. We'll start with the top box. And you probably can't see too much because of the light, but just trying to see if there's any, any logos, any factory stamps, anything like that and looks like on the nine and a half uh, label here there's nothing so that's good let's try the size 10 see if there's anything with that one nothing so far Yeah, looks like both labels. There's no stamps or anything. Uh, they're overseas pairs, um, so I have no suggested retail price. Um, so on the bottom here of the size 10, as you can see, I just have the Jumpman with the Nike Air on the side there. And that's it. But on the size nine and a half, I do have a, looks like Hong Kong sticker. So we'll go ahead and try black light in that. And I'm not seeing any stamp on the Hong Kong sticker for the nine and a half. We'll open up the lids. Just for fun, we'll try black line in the top of the box here. Just make sure that there's no funny business. Two don't look like it. Size 10. Looks good there. So, we'll go ahead and start with the 9.5 first. Grab the shoes out here. And I don't have my flash on. That's why I probably can't see too much right now. Because the UV light and the flash don't mix well at all. As it is right now, you probably can't see much. And when I have that flash, long, flash on, it doesn't help. But we'll just go ahead and take a, back of the, take a look at the back of the shoe. See if anything glows. Let me... Turn the light off here, see if that helps at all. Um, probably can't see, but the stitching glows. Stitching usually always glows. So, inside here, we'll go with this one. Kind of look here. Just seeing if we see any marks, any scuffs. 
right there. We kind of have some scuffs. Um, looking for stamps. Stamps is what we're looking for. It's the number one sign to tell you that the shoe's fake is a stamp. Front of the shoe looks good. Let's see. Stitching is glowing like usual. Yep. Not seeing anything wrong there. So let's go ahead and try this here. See if I can get this to stand up here. And then on the sole here, we're looking for any stamps. As you can see, let's see if I can get it here. There's a little bit of water stains there. Glue marks might be, but that's okay. A lot of reps do have those, but a lot of factories are sometimes there, there too. So that's normal. That's fine. So that sole looks okay. Yeah, we'll just do this sole real quick with this one too. Again, looking for stamps. Stamps, LG, any, any rep brand has their stamp. But I'm not seeing it. So that is good. So let's get back to this here. Back of the shoe, again the stitching glows around the heel here. I don't know how well you can see that, but that glows. Same all the way along the side. On the upper, nothing's glowing, nothing's sticking out. So, Check the toe here. Again, just the stitching. Other than that, nothing is glowing or sticking out. Same with this side. Nothing glowing, nothing sticking out. So, that was a size nine and a half. And as you can tell, I don't know if you guys saw my review or not, but the hang tag was not on the size 10 when it came. It was off. I just put that back on there. Um, lace bag also wasn't attached. I just left that unattached because it's cut. So. so we'll start with the left shoe on this side here, the size 10. Again from GOAT. Um, let's see if you can see that. There is a little bit of a water or glue stain right there on the sole, which again happens. Um, not a, not a stamp though, so that's good. Um, the rest, nothing really glows on the back. So, let's go ahead and take a look here. Again, mostly just stitching. Um, nothing on the upper is really glowing or anything um i don't know if you can see that but there is some almost like it might just be yeah it's just dust so that's just dust nothing to worry about there front of the shoe same thing as the other one nothing too concerning there on this side, same thing. So, there's that shoe. Let's go ahead and take a look at the right shoe quick. Um, more same old, same old, just stitching. Um, again, just trying to look, see, give you guys just an idea what to look for. Um, got these from GOAT, so should be legit. Again, just the stitching. Let's 
same thing again just looking for a stamp basically or or uh, guide marks for the nike swoosh a lot of the fakes around the nike swoosh there they'll have guide marks and they only show up with a uv light which none of these have had so that is good that's what we want to see we do not want to see those and then the sole here just looking for that stamp which this one does not have Same thing here. This one doesn't have either, so. Um, the inside here, let's see if there's anything. Don't really look like it. The family doesn't really glow or anything, so. Should be good, so. I just kind of wanted to jump in, give a little black light test between these guys. Um, I know there's a lot of fakes going around. This is a shoe that a lot of people want. So again, just trying to provide as much information as I can to help you guys out with legit checking these. Um, if you guys like this video or found this helpful in any way, please leave a like. Um, I hope you guys have a great day because that's all I got and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.